Hello and welcome to the Beyond Borders podcast. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you so much for joining us once again. We'll be speaking with Alice Bautista, President and CEO of One BPO. Welcome to Beyond Borders, Alice. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi, Neil. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here with you today. Well, I'm glad that you could take the time. Tell our listeners a bit about yourself and let's talk about One BPO. Well, One BPO is a uh, business process outsourcing company in the Philippines, and we provide cost-efficient call center services, particularly in areas with customer service, technical support, lead generation, um, telephone appointments. And we also provide back office solutions. So if you've heard about bookkeeping, medical billing, legal intakes, virtual assistant works, basically anything that a client would need manpower and complete facilities for, that's what we do. Did you stumble upon this area of expertise or did you see something in your professional or personal life that propelled you in this direction? Well, you know, in the Philippines, call center work, we treat that as a profession. Uh, it, it's different, you know, because when you are here, when you are in the Philippines, when you do like a regular day job versus doing a call center, you know, work, it actually has a huge difference in terms, let's say, of pay. Mm -hmm. So... You know, what, what made me do this work or put up a business for, for call centers is to provide more employment for people, uh, to be able to connect the world to a vast talent pool that are mostly, you know, unutilized here on this side of the world. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure, I'm not sure if that answered your question, Neil. It, it answers my question as far as what one BPO is all about. What is it that got you into outsourcing overseas, not just in the Philippines? I mean, I'm sure that there are uh, companies that uh, specialize and just deal with the Philippines, but you're, you're not one of those companies, are you? Uh, yeah, we actually have our clients from the United States, um, Canada, United Kingdom, Asia Pacific. So most of our clients, if not all of them, are actually from outside this country. It's because, you know, they have the ability to sustain operations and at the same time, we, on the other end, would be able to provide, you know, employment to people on this side of the world uh, with much better pay, much better benefits, so on and so forth. So what really propelled me into doing this work or into having this business is, you know, the opportunities, the vast opportunities globally uh, that could be offered by um, outsourcing uh, could provide employment to people, and at the same time, it could provide a lot of value and a lot of um, cost-efficient uh, services for our clients abroad. How much of a challenge are different time zones when it comes to the efficiency that you provide for your clients? Yeah, you know, time zone is definitely a challenge um, since we work uh, graveyard shift, uh, but it doesn't necessarily uh, impact the um, efficiency of the people since uh, we do have managers in place that are able to help us out manage production, right? And these people, when we are hiring them, uh, when we are onboarding them, are also given the right expectation that, you know, this work is graveyard and these are the benefits and these are the things that you need to do. There is definitely an agreement that's being made uh, when we start uh, working with them and you know, when proper expectation is being set to these people or to the uh, workers, then, you know, management is easy. Sometimes when uh, you see them sometimes dozing off, it's it's mm -hmm. it's easier nudging them and telling them, hey, okay. So, yeah, there's management in place um, to help them out with, with, with efficiency, too. Yeah, I mentioned that there are firms that deal only in your own geographical area there in the Philippines and firms like yours that branch out in all areas of the world. How do you set yourself apart from other BPOs that are trying to give their clients a satisfactory experience as well? What makes us different? Well, what we do here, Neil, is we definitely have categorization of our accounts. So we have large, mid, small scale accounts, right? And the very reason why we have to do that is to uh, understand the proper management um, support needed for each of those categories. Like if you have a hundred seater account, you know that there needs to be an operations manager. There needs to be at least 10 team leaders that would help manage that account, right? Mm -hmm. However, if you only have, let's say a small scale one, like a 10 seater account, then, you know, one team lead could actually be good in running that project. 
But what makes us different is the fact that for us, there is really no such thing as big or small account in terms of working together with our clients for as long as our values align. And we know that the services that they do um, as a business, they provide purpose to the world. You know, we would always be willing and happy to welcome them to one BPO and help them support them to continue sustainability and growth for their businesses as well. So unlike other call centers here um, where they have like some kind of a limit, like they can only accept accounts that are 100 seater and up, 50 seater and up. Here in one BPO, we could actually work with clients only would want to just start with at least three people. Hmm. And from there, you know, we could actually work with them, understand their KPIs, understand you know, the trend of the performances from a small team. And one of our biggest account here actually just started out with five. And right now, they are, you know, they are at 120, you know, so. So it seems like uh, your efficiency allowed them to onboard more people themselves by outsourcing certain tasks to one BPO. Oh, absolutely. Because, you know, when they're sleeping, something is being done here on the side of the world, right? Um, efficiency, especially when it comes to cost, is one of the major reasons why a lot of the call centers or a lot of the companies outsource here in the Philippines, primarily because, um, of course, we have acquired the Western culture. Aside from the, the better pay, the benefits, and the positive culture of outsourcing to the Philippines, how do you keep your employees uh, happy? How do you retain them? That must be a, a big concern for your clients being so far away from them. We're very creative with what we do here, Neil. Like, for example, we have um, a pantry that is um, al fresco. Well, people bring their own bowls, you know, every time it's their break time. Um, unlike the regular big buildings, you know, from other call centers, what we have here is our buildings in an open space where people could actually go out from their offices and see the skies. So there's a lot of um, reward system that we also do, merit system to reward people that are doing good, uh, especially those that have perfect attendance. So we definitely need to be very creative and also to be very engaged with our people to keep them happy uh, working with us and for our clients. Give us some information so that people can get a hold of you, a website and some other contact information. Oh, and also, uh, where are you located uh, in the Philippines? Where are you based? Yeah, we're located at the heart of the Philippines. We're in the Visayas. We are at Iloilo City, Philippines. And, and the website? Yeah, it's uh, 1BPO.com. Our phone number is one 560 Alice, thank you so much for joining us here on Beyond Borders Podcast. Thank you so much. Thank you, Neil. Thanks for the opportunity. Have a good one. You as well. You've been listening to the Beyond Borders Podcast. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Allison Bautista, President and CEO of One BPO. Learn more at verticalinternetmedia.com and learn about our BPO services at outsourcingfit.com.